Greetings fellow Earthlings HK here with a brand new IC2 modding tutorial. Today we're going to look into the keyboard events uh, part of the IC2 tutorial, or API. Um, it is in the experimental version of the API. I'm not sure if it's still in the air quote stable one, but um, yes, I have my dummy item here and we're going to make it so when you right click it, it does something in chat. If we hold like the boost key, it'll do something else. If you hold like the shift key, it'll do something else. As you may know, in the controls, IC2 adds a bunch of different um, uh, controls, keyboard binding things, um, and we're going to figure out how to use those now. So that's pretty much all we need to do. Let's get started. Let's quit this. Here we go. So we're going to go into our dummy item. This is just a, it, it does nothing. It's called a dummy item for a reason <laughs> and we're going to do if keys this is an IC2 thing dot oh let's do is boost key first of player player there we go so now if we right click while holding the boost key we'll do this so let's do player dot add chat message Oh, let's say hello booster. Let's copy this because we're gonna do the same kind of thing over and over. Okay. Now let's replace this part with dot is alt key pressed. Let's do the same thing for oh dot is what's another one? Forward key pressed. Clips is being too helpful right now. Okay, I'll just do this. Keys dot is what's another one? Jump key. I'm not sure what that one does, but sure. Player. And keys. Let's do one more. Dot is. Do I did, have I done sneak already? I have not. Sneak key. There we go. Let's replace all these. For word forwarder alter. It all works. Okay. So there, there we go. Let's go test it. Yeah, this is a pretty simple tutorial. It's not too complicated. I'm just trying to show a bunch of different uses of it. Single player, let's go back into our world. And as you can see now, when we use our boost key, or let's just do nothing. If we first do nothing, nothing happens. Now let's hold our boost key. Um, oh, that's why. Boost key. Okay, I'm getting errors down here. Where are those errors? I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, it sounds like, or it looks like, there is a bug in the IC2 API. I have submitted a bug report and all that stuff, but as of right now, this currently does not work in the version that I'm using, which is 2.049 um, experimental API. The This is how it's supposed to go, so I'm still going to upload the video, because it will be fixed obviously soon and if it needs some changing then I'll just take down the video and re-record it but as it stands right now this is what it should work and it just it just causes an error in here it's basically trying to call um, IC2 core utilities keyboard client that uh, is mode switch key but except the uh, core utilities keyboard client does not have those methods in it. It's the keyboard class has those methods in it. And there are technically is ways I can reroute it from my mod, but I know that the API will be updated and fixed sooner or later. And uh, this is how it should be done. So I'm just going to leave it that way. Um, again, check the description if, uh, if there's any updates or if there's any 
anything different, I'll make sure to update something in the description. Or check the annotations, but sometimes people are on mobile phones and stuff like that and annotations don't work, but just keep an eye out. Um, if you can, use stuff like, instead of the sneak key, use is player dot shifting or something like that. If you need it to work right now, I'd recommend finding a workaround, like, um, we know that the boost key is um, left control, I think that's what the regular is, so you could do if, if, if I can type if right, keyboard dot uh, is, is key down, and then keyboard dot, what is it, uh, key, Yeah, here's all the keys. Left control right here. And that's what the boost key would be. I personally like B for boost, but left control is what the default is. So if you need to be able to test it right now and you can't wait to get this to work, I recommend just doing that for your dev your dev environment. Once the API gets working again, you can change that over and it will be right along with the API or the IC2 keyboard binding that kind of stuff. But for now, that's about it. Um, yeah, sorry about the error. I, hopefully that'll get fixed soon. That's about it. Thanks for watching.